Have you ever noticed that many people over the course of life lose their idealism? We all start out in life with a very high sense of justice and idealism. And we immediately talk to our parents and friends and people at school about what's fair and what's not. Then we grow up, we vote, we make contributions, we speak up, we join organizations. But as time goes on, we tend to become less and less idealistic. Why is this? I don't think it's just because we get older and lose our level of energy, but rather, just as a constant stream of water wears away a rock, so a constant stream of disappointments wear away hope. That's why it stands out and it's so inspiring to see older people who still keep that high sense of idealism. The people I know who are like that do so because they have a sincere faith in Christ. I used to know an elderly doctor whose name was Dr. Miao. He was a Chinese man. And I will never forget his enthusiasm and idealism into the late years of his life. He would take many of us out to eat just to have fellowship with us. He would give rides to senior citizens to places they needed to go. And I'll never forget the night he called all of us, his friends, over to his house in the middle of the night to see a special flower bloom that only bloomed once a year. For him, it seemed as if there was an eternal fountain of hope inside of him, and that hope was Jesus Christ. Those of us who trust in him also can live every year and every day of our lives with idealism. As 1 Corinthians 15, 58 says, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your toil is not in vain in the Lord.